Hello everyone. Today I would like to share one of the idea of how to model nice and smooth weapon grip. The process is quite simple, so let's get into it. So once you've got a reference, let's add cylinder on the viewport. I will change the vertices to 14 and bring it to the left side of gun barrel. As you might have guessed, I will use cylinder as a base of curve. Let's select the upper half of vertices and press E to extrude. I will delete front and back faces in order to fix the topology afterwards. Now go to wireframe, select lower half of vertices and extrude the long curve. In solid mode, the vertices located in invisible area will not be selected. So wireframe mode is much more easier to do this. Let's apply shade smooth and auto smooth. Now you see, we have got nice looking curve shape out here. Great, let's keep going. I'm going to create faces to fill up front and back side. As for front side, I will just fill up the bottom part for now. Press Alt plus left click to loop select and extrude to make whole body of gun barrel. Finally, let's fill up front side. So that was how I modeled the basic shape of gun barrel, including curved part. Now I will go on to the next step to create gun grip. Okay, phase 2. Let's copy the bottom of gun barrel to make a base of curved mesh. Don't forget to press P and click selection. Otherwise Blender recognizes the duplicated mesh as a part of gun barrel. Now press E to extrude to go along the curve. Let's apply shade smooth.
Okay, now press Alt plus left click to select the front part of the mesh and extrude along X axis. Go to edit mode and fill the mesh. By the way, I use free add-on called Mesh F2 to fill up the mesh more easier than the ordinary setting. After filling up the mesh, select front part of edges and press Ctrl B to apply bevel. Let's select upper half of vertices to extrude. Cool. I think about 90% of the process is completed. Let's go on to the final step. Press Ctrl R to add three loop cuts and slide to make protruding object. Go to wireframe mode and extrude the front of the grip. As you can see, there are some glitches on the object. Those glitches can be fixed with adjusting mesh, so I will show you some examples that how to do it. Okay, so that was the demonstration of how to model weapon grip. I hope it was useful. If it was, please thumbs up. See you soon.